Now I've really been wanting to see this new uh, Toyota Land Cruiser. So when my buddy over there at Manhattan Beach Toyota gave me a call, tell me they got one in, yeah, I've got to check this thing out. I want to see if it's a real deal or if it's just kind of plasticky SUVs. And as you know, I'm a surf videographer. I'm not a car guy. I'm going to basically show you everything that I think is cool about this vehicle and I'll show you the dimensions, etc. And you can kind of put your own thoughts together on this. As you can see, the new Land Cruiser comes in three different models. You have the 1958 straight Land Cruiser in the first edition. First edition is the top of the line for the Land Cruiser. That's what we're going to be looking at. <laughs> I'm going to start off by just giving you kind of an overall look at the entire vehicle itself and then I'll get into like measurements and things like that. Start off with the exterior and then kind of make my way inside. So this particular Land Cruiser, the first edition of it, is going to have these 18-inch black alloy wheels, the roof rack, rock rails, and mud flaps. So back here on your mud guards, I've got this strap. Now, like I said, I'm, I don't know anything about this kind of stuff, and maybe you do. Let me know in the comments what that strap's for. Attention on this is how it's longer. Like the door, the fuel door is longer than normal. I don't know why, it just caught my eye. <laughs> Let's move along to the interior. super quiet obviously it's a hybrid if you're not used to hybrids there's not much sound uh, if it's on right now i'll rev the engine i like the quietness of it it's good especially if you've had a crazy day surfing in malibu with everybody else out there come in here get your own little quiet serenity the bigger screen here and it's actually attached to the full uh, dashboard I guess and then a lot of this stuff if you're familiar with the newer Toyotas a lot of these are all similar kind of like, so you can see each other. a lot of stuff just from right in here but one of the things they did was obviously you can control the volume from here but a little knob here just kind of nice because you can just get a quick grab turn it up or down obviously it's also on the steering wheel here but this will not oh yeah <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that on the phone but it's actually air conditioning coming out of the box
taxi. Because it allowed you to go back. I don't know if you can tell how far back I am, or all the way up. That's almost vertically and definitely uncomfortable. There's that little medium spot right in there, which is nice, but actually I'd probably go back a bit and just just relax. You can tell it goes back a bit from this guy. got some pretty good room now they've also got a couple of the add-ons etc that are coming on this one look like under the battery is going to be back under there so this seems to sit up a tad bit higher than my forerunner that's going to make a difference for anybody just want to let you guys know additional power here folding seats so let's get started on some dimensions so with those back seats up the normal position they would be at we're looking about 42 to 43 inches as you can see right there is where it's going to close and about the center of this back hatch area you're looking at approximately 42 wide 41 wide obviously down low it's going to get even wider around 44 43 so let's see what happens if we fold, oh, we fold that down so with that seat up, you're looking at about a usable space, 64 inches, a little over five feet. That's that's a straight shot if you're going straight back. Now obviously if you have a surfboard and you want to go diagonal, you're going to be able to get just over six foot back here. And then finally I'm going to measure it to get it straight through there. If you have an SUP, a longboard or something, let's see how long it gets all the way up to that front dash. Now keep in mind, these aren't exact measurements. I'm just laying this ruler out here. You're looking at right of just a tad over nine foot. You could potentially get a longboard straight in sideways. And now they give you the full angle on the back here, just about five feet wide in the back seat. Now the engine in this is that iForce Max 2.4 liter four cylinder turbo engine. Drives really smooth too, which is another added benefit. It's really quiet. I have a four runner and it's not a hybrid. And so whenever I get into a hybrid, it's always nice because it's just kind of quiets the tone down a bit. But the all new Toyota Land Cruiser 2024. This is that FE model, the first edition model. Well, hey, let me know what you think of it in the comments. I actually, I think it's better than I originally thought. I thought it was gonna be kind of plasticky to be honest with you. I wasn't sure what to expect, but I wasn't expecting this. It is really nice. 74,000 uh, bit higher than I would like to spend. Now keep in mind, this is the FE model, which is pretty much one of their top of the lines. Uh, so it's got a lot of stuff on here that I probably personally wouldn't use, but overall it's a great looking vehicle. Anyway, thanks for joining me on this episode today. And I want a special thanks to Manhattan Beach Toyota for allowing me to come by and check this thing out. Hope you liked it. I'm Brad Jacobson, and I'll see you on the sand, or maybe the pavement.